Good morning everyone, Konnichiwa. Today we're going to check and inspect the rear brakes on Mitsubishi Delica. This is a L400 space gear. Do the maintenance. I hope no parts will be needed. I just uh, finished work on the left side, on the rear. I have a right side. Still need some attention and as you remember, this is a project van. We got it very cheap and this van has been sitting for who knows how long and brakes like that. But overall, vehicle runs and drives and brakes are not seized up. And uh, yeah, we're going to inspect, check the values, all specs and uh, see if anything needs attention. Look at that spider web on a brake caliper spiders like it probably the spot i have a jack stand under my axle and i still have a hydraulic jack supporting and we're safe to work and as you can see there my wheel is chalked and vehicle isn't parked and um, e-brake is on yeah we'll follow the mitsubishi delica factory specifications i have everything on my computer and uh, yeah, let's get started. And the visual inspection is first everything what you can see wrong. First of all, we don't have any brake fluid leaks. Inspect the hose, no cracks, no any issues at the crimp. All good here. Metal tubing is a bit rusted, but it's still in good shape can go for some time and next thing what I like to look in the rotor go with your fingers like that and I don't see that any groove here at the edge but as you can see this rust it means vehicle has been parked for a little while and moisture penetrated on both sides and then corroded a rotor and it's slightly leaking if you look here see this clean metal where the rim was tight and um, yeah it means rotor at some point was replaced it's not the original one on my Mitsubishi Delica we have a single piston caliper some Delicas equipped with a dual piston caliper we only have one over here this is an inspection port where you can look and see the thickness of your pads According to the Mitsubishi Delica service repair manual, standard value for rear pads is 9 millimeters and limit is 2. Let's go check it out visually. We need a flashlight. And let's take a look. Well, it's hard to tell so what its thickness is, but I see there's some pad material still left over. And then... Um, more than two millimeters for sure probably like maybe a five roughly i hope you can see but we'll take the caliper aside and we can see better on mitsubishi delica brake pads they have a wear indicator that contacts the brake rotor and yeah when the thickness of the pad is going down to two millimeters and uh, yeah and it will emit a squealing sound to warm you that vehicle needs a new pads yeah let's take a caliper off put it up and see what's up and then we also can measure the rotor here's the two guide pins bolts let's just clean the pads a little bit of the bolt like that scrape all that dried dirt and road grind there's a two of them upper and bottom here we go uh, 14 mil deep socket 3 it's a ratchet and let's break those bolts loose they will come out shouldn't be too bad here we go and same thing on the bottom a little bit tight that should be like that all torque specs for the bolts all the hardware 
I will show you in a few minutes. Let's pull those bolts out. I have my little metal magnetic tray down there to put all fasteners and they won't go anywhere. See we pull the brake caliper guide pin and it's clean. No rust. It means boot was sealing good and moisture couldn't penetrate it inside. That's what you can see. And the grease is a little bit dirty. We'll wash it, clean it and the surface and apply the fresh grease. And we'll show you in a few minutes. Bottom one looks good. Let's take a top one. Oh, still a bit too tight. And uh, that pin allows the brake caliper to slide on and off when you apply brakes. If you have one guide pin seized up and one is free, your brake pads will wear unevenly, like top will wear more if top one seized up doesn't move freely and bottom is loose, they will be wearing out unevenly and it will have a brake performance issues. Let's pull this pin out and uh, see how this one looks. And this one looks doesn't bad. Still, still no rust, no scratches, deep grooves, almost looks like new to me. Yeah, we'll clean it, wash it, apply a new grease, put them back. Yeah, special Mitsubishi Delica pin. Well, pry bar. Let's pry the brake caliper up. Here's a slot. Just carefully pry it up and wiggle it. Don't pull it too far. Don't put the tension on a brake line. And like that, she came out. Some brake pad material here. Let's put it uh, like that on a top for now. It's not going anywhere like that. Beautiful. Let's inspect the guide pin rubber boots for any cracks and splits. This one looks absolutely acceptable, not new, but no cracks, no need to replace. And I would like to use the last parts as possible. If it's not broken, why to replace it? Yep, they're perfectly fine. And we could see on the pins, wasn't any moisture intrusion. Yep, and remember, this one came from the bottom with a tip. Now we can see the brake pads better. They're halfway through the life. It's more than two millimeters left for sure. Let's take the one off. And um, yeah, they're pretty evenly wearing out. If you look from this angle, top and bottom, they're not wearing out an angle. Yep, pretty good this way as well but well, this flaking rust is just from sitting if you keep driving just clean the pad make sure it's no any debris stuck between the pad and the rotor that will scrape the deep grooves and um, yeah we'll we'll clean it here we'll put it there let's take the inner one inner one normally we're in out faster because caliper piston is applying the more force to the inner one and as you can see here there's some grooves it's because some rocks and dirt was getting in between the pad and the rotor as you can see inner brake pad has a bit of more wear because caliper applying more pressure to the inner brake pad where it's pushing over here and uh, yeah still some meat left more than two millimeters nine is the standard value when you have a new pads and um, yeah still some life left if you have a new pads probably a good time to put it but they still have some life left why bother okay let's check the rear disc thickness standard value from the factory is 18 millimeters and minimum limit is 16.4 according to the 
A Mitsubishi Delica manual. Let's see what we have. Have a gauge here. And yeah, over 20, 20 millimeters, which is good. We're not down to even 16.4. Well, visually, still lots of life left in that rotor. That rust will go away when you drive it. That they will clean the brake pad a little bit, make sure there's no any, any grease or oil or any contaminations, and over time it just will smooth it out. And uh, yeah, pretty thick one still. Good. And how you measure the thickness of the brake pad, you measure from the metal base of the pad to the end, and that is your thickness of the pad. You don't measure them with a backing plate. Yeah, this one's pretty good. When you do the thickness measurements, you have to go every 45 degrees and measure all the way around. But in our situation, rotor is totally fine. Looks like it's not old even. Let's um, check, make sure we don't have any stuck rocks behind the rotor dust plate. Sometimes, especially on the Ford Super Duty, they're notorious to collect rocks in between the rotor and a dust plate and they will scratch the rotor make the squealing sound on Mitsubishi Delica never ever had a problem there is a two 17 mil bolts on the back side of the brake caliper bracket let's undo those guys sometimes they're easy sometimes they're not usually pretty tight yeah not too bad socket stuck oh. and one on the bottom let's undo those ones and we'll clean the clips and um, clean the bracket as well let's undo the bottom one that should be good we should be able to get them by hand like that. Lock washer and a bolt. Let's remove the bottom one and then we can just do the cleanup and maintenance. Why not to do it? Because we're here. Pull it out like that. Just, there you go. It'll come out. It has a spring clips to keep a rotor inside tight and uh, yeah, no cracks, no any issues with the bracket mechanically. We'll uh, do the little cleanup. I'll pull this clip out. Oh, and clean all this rust and reinstall it. Safety goggles because we're going to use our wire wheel. This is a brass and. Uh, I'm going to clean all this rust over here before we That's nice, clean enough. And uh, same will do it. What? Took us uh, 20 seconds and now it looks like brand new. And uh, see, I pulled all the one at a time. And uh, put them in it back like that. Clean, nice, in place, beautiful. Same thing on the other side. Awesome. All right. Just the one minute, and everything's coming back like almost new. New clip, always assemble the clean, good parts like that. Nice. As you can see, rubber boots, they're not new. They're kind of used up, but no cracks. They didn't, like, we're going to reuse them. I don't have a replacement one at the moment, which is fine. Okay, this one's fine. Let's use the paper towel and a little bit of brake clean to 
I'll wipe it and clean it like that. That's good enough. I'll just clean it there. Now we're using a compressed air on a brake calipers. You don't want to breathe that dust even when I was grinding. But I rust a little bit, I hold my breath. Because I don't want any rust and the pad material I'm breathing inside your lungs. Let's just scrape all this slowly. This is dirt and uh, some pad material. Just to get it clean. Good enough. Okay. I'll place it a rotor back like that for now. Before putting a bracket back, let's just clean the last around the mountain holes. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Good enough and place it same way we removed like that. pads ready clean the edges where the brake pads goes on a clip inside the rocket just to clean all that rust like that and just Everything was flaking, now it's all nice and smooth. And uh, I'm going to use the silicone based compound, brake lubricant, clean and lubricate all moving hardware. That's what they say. We don't need much, very little, just uh, like that. Just touch, 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 touch. Very lightly, as you can see, it's very little doesn't need much like that where the brake pad touches the clip goes in that just a thin layer don't need anything more than that and wipe whatever is on the sides like so and uh, yeah make sure no grease inside the pad over here also I'm going to do just clean this collector slot of the dust like that. Beautiful. Okay. And put it like that. So when it's done, same way I'm going to do the back pad like that. Nice and easy. Okay. Pads are in place. Let's put our brake caliper bracket bolts before putting them. Let's just do a quick clean up. The wire brush. And I like to apply a little bit of anti-seized compound, just preventing them from seizing up. Doesn't need much, very little, just a touch. And um, yeah, so on the holes and uh, put the bolts in. Yeah, I like to put uh, pads and then put the bolts because that way I can wiggle the bracket a little bit and uh, easy to do it. Okay, start it by hand. At Mitsubishi Delica shop repair many torque specs for the brake caliper bolts and um, guide pins. I will put down in the description under the video check it out okay let's just tighten it up like that we'll torque everything at once we're not going to check the rotor run out and uh, drag it's okay for me if you want to do it you can get it done but i'm fine here we go here's our brake caliper and we're going to apply light very light coat of the brake grease on those 
ears here like that and uh, where the piston touches the pad backing plate whatever whatever is excessive we'll clean with the rag make sure we don't have too much like that beautiful okay we're ready very important part make sure the brake hose is not twisted in any way it should go straight like that and when you follow those profile lines here as you can see this rib has the ribs okay let's put it over the bucket get a boots in between of the guide pins like that just wiggle it and let it settle good okay let's get our guide pins ready i'll wash it with a brake clean like that wipe it out inspect it no rust no flaking no any grooves no scratches almost looking like a brand new this one for the top let's apply a little bit of brake grease doesn't need much very light coat lightly spread it too much grease it's not in not a good thing on our brakes will attract all that dust and uh, you don't want any more than it needs just a thin layer like that okay, lift the caliper up align the boot make sure it's going straight through and uh, wiggle it like that turn it a few times like that let it air out a little bit back and forth and start it with your fingers like that make sure it's not cross threading okay you can almost run it all the way yeah nice and smooth no any problems yeah let's wash the bottom one like that and guys if you have any questions comments critics suggestions complaints recommendations or i missed anything let me know down in the comment section below under the video okay very light coat of grease why we're using a silicone based lubricant because it's very gentle on any rubber components on the boots and uh, handles the heat, heat pretty good okay that's it doesn't need more than that all right let's do the bottom one Align it. Just make sure it's going through with the boots here we go nice and easy Run my hands check make sure guide pin rubber boots fit properly over the guide pins over that lip there's no gap that's very important otherwise dirt and debris and water will get in now i'm going to torque brake caliper bracket up and bottom put a thumbs up very appreciate that okay let's torque our guide pins good and the bottom as well always use a torque wrench that is a very good habit to add it to your skill because even you can feel it how tight it's supposed to be but torque wrench if it's properly calibrated will always 100 percent precise well well done thank you so much guys for your time arigato for watching this video and uh, yeah we inspected we checked all brake components my Delica is still good to go for some good kilometers and eventually I will put in new pads. I will have to order them. I don't have it at the moment. And uh, so far everything looks pretty functional. But every time you do the repairs, always, always refer to your service repair manual for your Delica. And this video is only a demonstration what works for me and uh, how I do it. Yeah, and I'm moving to the front. I'm going to do the same thing on the front brakes and there's a different specs and different values for it video will be down in the description or on the card up there yeah take care 
and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.